This is Twit. Well, Joe, everybody talks about intelligent machines one day rising up and destroying humanity, but is anybody doing anything about it? Yeah, Mike, what, what an uplifting opening. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Top <laughs> scientists have signed a letter of warning talking about artificial intelligence and the potential dangers. Now, now the big question here, Mike, is whether Skynet's going to honor this letter once Skynet comes <laughs> online. Now, kidding aside, here with some insights in terms of what this letter really means is Tanya Lewis of Live Science. Tanya, how you been? Great. Thanks. Thanks you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Truly appreciate it. Hey, so what exactly was this letter? Who signed it? And what does it mean going forward? So basically, this was um, an open letter um, that was signed by a number, hundreds of scientists and researchers from the academic community and from industry, um, including people like Elon Musk um, of Tesla and SpaceX and um, uh, Stephen Hawking, the famous uh, physicist, um, and just a number of other people. And basically what it says is, um, you know, artificial intelligence um, has many uh, potential opportunities for humanity, um, you know, even the possibility of eradicating poverty and disease, but um, it really just comes with um, some risks as well. And, and um, this letter was basically a statement of... Um, priorities of, you know, really that these researchers um, think we need to make sure that we keep an eye on this technology as it develops and make sure that we can control it. Now, this sounds like a lot like the three laws of robotics from Isaac Asimov. Is that uh, the case? Are they just using uh, Asimov's <laughs> uh, sort of rules for robots? Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, that is sort of the fictional, uh, I guess, fictional equivalent um, here, but these aren't really um, a set of rules so much as I think a statement that um, the research community um, is taking an interest in sort of the um, serious um, potential dangers of AI, um, which is something that has mostly been um, cast to the realms of science fiction, I think, for much of history. So um, it's a pretty big deal that I guess um, and that so many top researchers are now sort of taking it seriously, but, but it's also not you know, time to just run for the hills. I, I think it's just a statement that we need to um, be responsible about the research that's being done. Yeah. Hey, Tanya, do you think there was w any one uh, uh, thing that triggered this letter? I mean, w if we rewind a month or two, Stephen Hawking had, had made some statements about the dangers and, and how artificial intelligence may actually uh, trigger the doom of mankind. Or was it just... Uh, a, several different anecdotes of that nature rolled up together and suddenly science came together to put out this statement. Yeah, you know, um, it's true that um, it's definitely not the first time that people like Stephen Hawking have come out and said that this is an issue we need to be um, paying attention to. Um, but I think maybe it has reached um, sort of a critical mass, you know, where and this is actually an issue that um, has been you know, something people have been thinking about for that intelligent people have been thinking about for a long time. And uh, this particular letter uh, was put out by um, a nonprofit organization whose basic role is to protect against or prepare for existential threats to humanity. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's just the culmination of, uh, of a number of people kind of coming to the same realization that this is something that's going to be a big deal going forward. Well, I think uh, letters aside, I think our best uh, best hope is that uh, machines in the future will still need us uh, and not just for a source of energy. Uh, 